Did you know the entire medical training system might exist because this surgeon was addicted to cocaine and morphine? Well, every July, thousands of new doctors put on white coats and start residency. Long hours, brutal call, hierarchies, and graded responsibility. But what if I told you this entire structure traces back to William Stewart Halstead, the father of modern surgery and a man secretly battling cocaine and morphine addiction? Halstead was brilliant. He invented surgical gloves, revolutionized breast cancer surgery, and built the first formal residency program at Johns Hopkins Hospital in the late 1800s. Early in his career, House had experimented on himself and his colleagues with cocaine as a surgical anesthetic. He then became addicted and was admitted to hospital to detox where he was treated with morphine. And then he became addicted to that too. His surgical speed and precision declined because of his addictions, but his intellect didn't. And he was invited to work at Johns Hopkins Hospital where he designed his famous residency system as a pyramid. So junior residents did most of the work and one hand-picked senior resident stood at the very top. Residents would start surgical cases and Halstead would show up later and he had oversight without very much patient contact. Many historians believe this structure helped him hide his addiction while still delivering excellent surgical outcomes. Because of his prestige, every trainee competed for his attention. Residents trained obsessively and competition was ruthless and patients did really well. And this model spread across North America, producing legends like Harvey William Cushing, the father of modern neurosurgery. Today's residency programs are safer, more structured, and far more humane. But the core ideas of greater responsibility, 24 seven hospital care, learning by doing, all come from Halstead. So yes, modern medical training may have been shaped by addiction, secrecy, and survival, which is why some programs still tell junior residents to sink or swim. Medicine wasn't built by perfect people, it was built by flawed humans. And in this case, one man's coping mechanisms might have actually changed the entire world.